Hello, so we're back to Lord of the Rings, the Third Age, and uh, we'll be getting to East Mnet here in a moment. First, we got some evil mode. We got some trolls. You know, at this point, kind of old hat. I mean, you, you deal with them every once in a while. We certainly got our, our fill of trolls in Moria, but got a couple more here since this is the, the last of Moria. I figured I would, um, and of course I'm just going to go ahead and spam uh, Massive Swing, because why not? It's it's five points, I don't care about AP, because uh, this is lasting for two seconds, so who cares? You know, tr treat yourself, as it were. Uh, you know, treat yourself to action points. And so we're going on. Um, I figured, you know, while we're doing the, uh, while we're doing the evil mode, just kind of get a little bit further into the lore, just a tiny little bit into the lore. Uh, so I, I wanted to look up, because obviously with the Balrog we had some Aura of the Valor and Power of the Valor, and uh, V-A-L-A-R, and so I wanted to look up exactly what the Valar is or um, anything like that. So the Valar are basically gods or like sort of demigods, like angelic beings um, in the Tolkien you know, world, and they're not actual gods, like, they have one, the main god is, it was like Eru Iluvatar, they always call him Iluvatar, he's like the god, like the big god, and then he made all the Valar to, like, create the world, and the Valar were basically sent to the world, like, to make it, and they kind of, like, sang, sort of, they sang the world into existence, like, some of them sang about one thing and that made the ocean, or some of them sang about something else. Um, Melkor was one of the angels. He was basically, he's kind of Satan, basically, in this, or Lucifer. Because um, Melkor, or Morgoth, as he was also called, who's Satan's, Satan's daddy, <laughs> basically, if you want to, if you want to go for that. Um, he, or I'm sorry, uh, Sauron, what am I saying? Oh my gosh. I'm, I, I, pardon me. Um, but he's, uh, so anyway, uh, Melkor... I've decided he sang bad things. I don't know if that means he sang poorly. I don't know if he had a crappy voice. I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'd like to think somewhere in the ethereal, you know, beginnings of the world, like when everything's just hazy and being formed, there's somebody, you know, just singing like, la la la, la 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 la, la 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 la. And it's like, oh, okay, well, you're evil then. Like, you, <laughs> like just, just terrible singing. <laughs> Uh, that'd be great. You just see her, you just see like a dark William Hung just just chilling and dancing and creating chaos. Um, but anyway, so uh, they some of them stayed on the earth and kind of chilled there and protected people, and some of them made elves and men, and uh, one of them made the dwarves. Um, so I looked up the dwarves as well. Because uh, they were made, they were actually made, one of the Valar, I don't remember which one, made the dwarves, and then one of the other ones made elves and men. So, I don't know why they, you know, I think with the dwarves, he wasn't really supposed to make them. Like, the guy who made them, like, uh, like was just a craftsman, and he wasn't really supposed to make any people. And, like, they were like, dude, what? Like, we already have people, it's fine. You really, you, we didn't, did we ask you to make anybody? No. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, why are you harshing my buzz? And he's like, dude, I'm sorry. Just wanted to have some dudes to help me with crap. Like, I'm sorry. And they're like, okay, I guess. You can have your dwarves. It's fine. Like, it just, the way they treat it, it just seemed really weird. It was just kind of like, you know, they're already here, I guess. He's like, well, I can, I can, I don't know, because it said he was going to kill him. He's like, well, if you don't want to, if I shouldn't have made him, I'll just go ahead, I'll kill him, I guess. And he's like, no, 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 dude, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to kill him. It's kind of, kind of pissed. W would have appreciated some, you know, you know, you'd ask, okay? Just next time, you know, just ask. So, <laughs> it's nice. Um, with, this, with this fight here, it kind of bothers me, just because any of the evil modes where you're playing as the orcs are, are kind of annoying. Because I actually lost this. I played when I first played this. I lost it and then had to do it again because it's like with the uh, with the archers, they get annoying because you know they're up on their little thing. They do very little damage and they have very little HP. So you know a lot of the time, you know they'll get hit once and it's like, oh okay, they're dead. That's it. And <laughs> it really sucks. I think it's mostly because you have Goblin Bane 
with um, Hadhod, and you have Orc Bane, which I think also might work on these guys, because they're technically Orcs, uh, with Barathor, so it's not great. Um, they're kind of getting a hit from all fronts here. Uh, the main thing you want to do is, if you have any of these battles, and you have an Orc Archer, is to go ahead and make- if Barathor is there, go ahead and make sure he's the last one to die. Because all the others, like Elagos, Hadhod, Idriel, they all have, you know, area of attack things, so they all have projectiles, they can shoot your spirit attacks. Barathor doesn't. Uh, Barathor, the most he can do is he can do War Call, which is where he has the other people who do have projectiles attack, because he can't. But other than that, he just has leadership crap. So I guess if you wanted to, that would be interesting to see if he could just continually do that company valor to where he was so evasive you couldn't hit him. <laughs> that would be, I would love that. And then just see what happens. You'll just, you're just constantly trying to hit him and, and you can't, and then he can't do anything but continuously do company valor. Um, that'd be great. Um, or else just throw his sword at you. Like, I kind of wish he could just do this attack where um, it just, as a last resort thing, if there's no one else left, he could just throw his sword. And, like, there's a low chance of it hitting, and it wouldn't even do much damage anyway. But, like, just in case. Just, like, just to do something. It would be interesting. Got a couple more... A couple more trolls. These are a little more interesting. You have a drummer troll. I don't know who built these gigantic drums for this guy, but whatever. I like to think of them as brothers. I don't know why. It just seems comforting to think of that. But basically, I'm just going to spam some Sonic Fury. I'm going to heal, you know, my bro a little bit, because you got to do that. Since it's the last we're seeing of the dwarves, I'm going to talk a little bit more about them, just a tiny bit. Um, the dwarves, because I know in the movies, in uh, Two Towers, uh, Eowyn, you know, uh, uh, Gimli tells Eowyn, you know, most people you know, think there aren't any dwarf women because they all have beards and they, you know, you can't tell them apart. And I'm like, okay, like, is that something Peter Jackson just came up with? Because it sounds kind of like, like bullshit a little bit. And I looked it up and, uh, no, not bullshit, actually. Um, so, at most, this is like a, a high number, um, a third of all dwarves are female. So the rest are male. So, pretty low. Um, low birth rate and... Um, obviously, so a lot of them live pretty long. Like it said, they live about 250 years. So they don't necessarily need to have a bunch of kids. Um, so what I'm wondering is, if a third of them are female, you know, with, with humans, you got, you know, about 50-50 male or female. And obviously, you know, just depending on where you live, sometimes that might get lower or higher on either side. But mostly 50-50 because we have, you know, X and Y chromosomes. So you're going to have 50% 50, 50 chance of having a Y. Um... With dwarves, if they have a third of them being dwarves, like, you would think they're not just killing off all, you know, female babies a, a good amount of the time. I'm sure that's not the case. Like, they must not have um, an X or Y thing going on. It must be something else. And, like, the elves and humans don't. So, which I guess would make sense if you have the dwarves being created by one guy and uh, by one of the Valar and then elves and men by the other, because elves and men are pretty much half and half, I assume. Um, you don't hear anything otherwise. And uh, what I'm wondering, too, is because they, they did say the females sound um, similar to the males, so they have deep voices, and they also have beards. Now, my immediate question would be, so what's that mean about pretty much any dwarf you see in <laughs> Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit? Um, could any of them be women? And we just don't know. Now, I mean, obviously, canonically, like, you know, real, like, real talk... No, they're all men, because, I mean, Tolkien probably referred to them as he several times and whatever. But I just feel like it's an interesting kind of alternate universe, alternate reading, is that some of them are female or something. I don't know. It's just weird. But my, it says that people can't distinguish between them. That It says it just very specifically says people cannot tell if a dwarf is male or female, you know, unless you're you know looking right at their drunk or something. So my question is... Uh, does that mean that dwarves can't distinguish too? Does that mean there's a whole bunch of dwarves who are like, you know, I don't, I don't even know? Because you got to think that's the case. Because certainly with humans, you know, a fair amount of the time it's the case. You don't necessarily know, you know, how a person sees themselves, what gender they see themselves as, um, either because they they dress like, a, you know, a different gender than they might have been born as, or whatever, you know, whatever's going on. So 
I gotta think it's the same with dwarves. You know, that it's if they don't sound the same necessarily as their if if they don't sound female or if they don't you know look female, that you know they don't know. Um, other question too would be you know if there's not that many females and what few females there are all look like men, um, are the dwarves bi? Basically, <laughs> like are they you know are they bi or just I guess even. Uh, what would it be called? Not polyamorous, that's not it, but, um, whatever it is, we're just kind of, I don't think there is really, I haven't heard of one, of, like, where you're just cool with anything. Not like you're having sex with everybody, but just, like, where you're, like, I don't care if you're, if you're, like, you know, born, like, born a man, born a woman, uh, trans, like, whatever, if you're non-binary, I don't care, just, like, you know, if you're hot and you're nice, I'll like you. Like, I don't know if there's a word for that. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Now on to the Balrog. This fight's super easy. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm just showing off the attacks just to be like, here's a description, but I'm like, I'm doing Pillar of Wrath, like, all over the place. Because when you see it, you will see why you would not just, why not do this? Because look at this shit. Like, it slows time down. And literally everybody but Gandalf dies. <laughs> like, I just love that. It's just like, no, just yeah. Like, you have 70,000 health, and it kills everyone else instantly, and Gandalf can just kind of, like, try to drain some health from you, and AP, and, like, that's about it. But, like, it's it's so ridiculously easy. And, like, even once you're down to just Gandalf, like, I'm sure the other attacks that just attack one person, like, I'm sure they would do a fine amount of damage. But, like, Pillar of Wrath is AP, and it is health, and it looks super badass, so, like, why would I not do this? The fire uh, effect on, on the Balrog, not super great, not the best thing, but it's PS2. And and the graphics, really, I think, for this are pretty good. I mean, it, it came out in, like, 2004, so, you know, I think it's doing pretty good for itself. Looks pretty nice, and, and it's fairly consistent with the movies, I think. I mean, not like, not like the movies had this quality of graphics, but, like, the way they look. Like, they, they seem, they're like the type of effects that you would see, I guess. It's it's a weird thing to say. It's, I can't exactly say it, but <laughs> it just seems right, I guess, is what I'm saying. See there, Gandalf dead immediately. You get some kind of nice loot. So we're on to the scenes. It is time to Got find some our scenes going on. Oh. Some more of Ian McKellen's fine, Gandalf. fine voice. <laughs> Ian McKellen can make a Wolverine purr. We must reach Balin's tomb before he does going to, to Balin. Behind us. Yeah, I don't know why the Balrog actually cares about them. Like, I feel like, in reality, the Balrog, it would kind of be like if you're, like, a, a lion or something, and you see, like, I don't know, a bug fly by. Like, why are you going to attack that? Like, what is that bug going to do to you? You know, there's there's literally nothing it's going to do. <laughs> like, why bother, basically? Because, like, what... I mean, well, I guess Gandalf does ultimately kill it, but, like, if he had just stayed away, I'm pretty sure Balrog... I mean, uh, Balrog... I'm pretty sure Gandalf would have been like, you know, let's just leave him alone. He's not hurting us, let's not hurt him. It's fine, you know? <laughs> let's... Let's just let sleeping dogs lie here and just be be cool, you know. Which ultimately would have been the best trial for him, really. But <laughs> they have a cave troll. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Like it's really not. It's just stupid. It's it's a statement of fact, really. It's like yes, Bo yes, Boromir, yes, they do. What other news flashes do you have for us, sir? Like your death really didn't serve a whole lot because you weren't that useful. <laughs> but I don't know. I have nothing against Boromir, besides him, you know, trying to get the ring and stuff. I, I do wish in the movies that they had included that in the regular, like, non-extended edition. That they had had the things, the scenes with him and Denethor and all that. Because otherwise, it just makes Barathor seem like, or not Barathor, uh, it makes, uh, Boromir uh, kind of seem like a jerk. Like, just a dick. He's just like, hey, I want the ring, cause, cause yeah. And it's like, no, like, he, he kind of mentions it, they but, oh. Middle -earth. oh, the elves. Oh, Lothlorien. I can never tell if I like Lothlorien or Rivendell more. Like, they're both pretty bitchin'. I think, I think Lothlorien, just because you don't see it a lot during the day, but, I mean, at night, oh, look at that. Oh, it's good. It's what I want. I love when, when Gimli's there and he's just like, oh, shit. Like he just, like he's thinking like he's like man these elves they suck I hate this like oh why do I have to get catch for these smelly elves and then he's just like oh man 
Like he's just totally, <laughs> he's just totally enraptured by it, and he's just he's just loving it. Oh, it's just great. I shall reveal what I know of your companion, <laughs> for dwarves share well the stories of their friends. Kind of, dwarves share it well. Like Gimli well, doesn't talk a whole lot about dwarves. He doesn't say much sorrow. crap. <laughs> Like how he's like, yeah, um, Hadad is is wreathed in sorrow. Like, he, you know, he's totally sad. Like, Hadad doesn't really show a lot of. Like, he just says a couple things to you know Idril. He's kind of like, like, hey, I should be the last one to go in here because I'm a dwarf. Yeah, but he's more like prideful about it. He's not like, dude, like these are the bones of my ancestors and like my my cousins and crap. Like, please stop. Like, I'm very sad. Like, give me a moment. I guess it's not manly. I don't know, but I I don't know. It just seems weird. That it's he's like oh they were they are very sorrowful yes mm -hmm. like it's like okay well Gimli was but I don't know about this had hot dude. The Dark Lord Sauron has enslaved many in his rise. To Barad-dur. <laughs> I love some of the ways they say things. It's the way they pronounce things. The whole language is very good. I love I love any kind of like fantasy or crap like that where they make their own languages. Kind of like like with like Dothraki and, and Game of Thrones and stuff like that, where you just have these these whole languages you could make and use. I never learned them. That would be great to do though. It's one of those things where I'm like, I'll, I always kind of think about like halfway th consider like maybe I'll you know because they have different websites and things like Dothraki is kind of. Like a fully fledged language, but they sort of have it. And I always tell myself, "Oh, I learned this that," and, I'm like, and then I'm like, "You know what? If I'm going to take the time to do that, I might as well learn like an actual language, <laughs> like something that people use, and like French or Spanish or like something. Like I really shouldn't waste my time on that. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know." Exposed to flanking fire from stone galleries. Yeah, the, the dwarves did not build their place too great. Like, you know, lava Finally, and like, no handrails. You know, they were not um, up to defenses. code. You know, no handicap now ramps for the dwarves, apparently. Our journeys, merge <laughs> Our journeys merge here briefly. By briefly, I mean for like two seconds and then I die. Like, that's it. So here's the East Emnet gullies. They don't really show you getting here. Like, they just show, oh, okay, you're out of, you killed the Balrog, um, and now you're on this river, I guess. Like, basically... I don't know, I guess you swim there or whatever, or paddle there. So we got this sword, the Blade of Mordor. It's a weeping blade, which means it's it's very sad. Just like Gimli. No, it's a uh, weeping blade. I think we had this before, but it, um, you know, once you hit somebody with it as a regular attack, um, and the attack itself is just called weeping blade, uh, once you do that, it kind of just, like, saps HP a little bit. It doesn't give it to you. Uh, so I guess sap's not a great word for a that. Company of Urukai passed this way. What of the party from Rivendell? <laughs> it's difficult like what? to tell. Oh, the party from Rivendell. That's it. I keep forgetting that we're actually following like Elven warriors. Like that was really the beginning of the story. It was like, oh, it's like, oh, like Idriel's like, oh, hey, I'm following these elves, and they were, you know, going off to fight stuff. But like, I keep forgetting that. Yes. I this is um, Arendell, which actually I think that's his name. I don't know if it's pronounced that way, if it's like a <laughs> frozen up in here. Ugh. I, I, I just, no. I'm not gonna sing it. I, ugh, no. <laughs> it's a fine enough movie, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm just not, not dealing with it. I do not like the way he says Urukai. It's like, Urukai! I'm like, it's, it sounds like it's a high school for the Uruks. The Urukai Uruks! <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, you know, like, cheerleaders and crap, like, Urukai cheerleaders. We've got spirit! Yes, we do! We've got spirit! <laughs> oh, no, so Aranel. Okay. And Aranel sounds like, like, something. I don't know what it is. Like, maybe, like, some kind of, like, kind of like Paxson or, like, Aeropostale, like, some kind of teen clothing store. <laughs> Come to Aranel. Or, like, some kind of cruise line or something. Experience true luxury with Aranel. But Aranel's pretty nice. Uh, the actual Aranel. Uh, he's got some... He can do the arrow flurry. Or not arrow flurry. Arrow volley. That's it. Um, kind of like our perfect attack. But he can just do that all the time. Um, so he just does that all the time. He has, I guess, some dudes hiding around. That he just uses for that. I mean, just kind of attack everybody with it. See, it just kind of comes out of the the wood or the uh, mountains, just kind of indiscriminately. I'm not really sure what's going on there. 
He just has all these automated little things, like like arrow turrets that are just shooting out arrows at his command. I don't know. It's kind of like, well, dude, that's not fair, though. And he's not- he's one of these dudes that just kind of helps us for a sec, kind of like Gandalf. He just kind of shows up a bit. You get a few more of them here. Like, like Moria, you don't really get them. Like, you only get Gandalf. And then Aregion, you don't get anybody. And then here, you just kind of get a few more. <laughs> Find all of my elves, Gondorian, and we shall be strong enough to He's like, well, why don't you find the elves? Like, you have a whole bunch of people, like, shooting arrows for you and crap. Like, like, what are you doing out here? Oh, it's good that you four people showed up, or I'd be shit out of luck. Like, what are you... Like, like do your own damn stuff, man. I got my own problems. Like, really? I don't know. Rohan's warriors must use that cave as an There's a lot of cutscenes. This is cutscene valley up in here. I don't really know where this is supposed to be. Like, I think I, I tried looking up where East and that gullies or and that or anything is, and I think what I could all I could really find out is like somewhere around Rohan, sorta, which makes sense because later on, like not like I think the next place is somewhere in Rohan, so that makes sense. I like just saying these names, these places, like in just completely like plain accent. Like, I'm going to Rohan, Rohan, Gondor. No, Aragean. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, Lothlorien. <laughs> there was this guy in one of my Spanish classes who, who was like, he had a country accent. Um, and he, like, he would speak it and he technically pronounced it right. Like, technically, you were saying, you were saying the vowels in the right way. But it was just with the most American accent I think you could possibly say them. He was like, Donde esta el baño? Like, it's technically right. Like, technically that is that is how you would say that, but it's just so... Like, you're not even trying. You're not like, Donde esta el baño? Like, you're just trying to... <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. But every time he read, like, I just had to try so hard not to laugh. Because we'd read stuff out loud. And, like, the teacher, you could tell, was like... She's like, well, you're, like she's, you could tell, kind of tell in her head, she's like, well, you're technically saying this right, so I'm not going to say anything, but, like, could you try? Like, <laughs> uh, like, Ekthelion. <laughs> uh, Elagost. <laughs> I kind of want to sing songs like that sometimes. Just singing songs, like, just without any kind of, like, inflection to them or anything. Like, the notes are technically right, but it's just kind of weird. Like, you'd actually sing everything right. I'm trying to think what I would sing, like... Like, don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time, I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now, if you want to have a good time, just give me a call. Like, you know, something like that. <laughs> like, that's not quite the notes anyway, I wasn't really trying, but, like... Just to, just doing it like that, like perfectly, like even if he's if they say ain't or whatever, like still say that, but just say it just very clearly and like not at all how anyone in the world would sing it. The the picture of the Urukai on there, he looks like somebody. There's some actor, like this old like male actor that he looks like, and I'm trying to think who it is, and it's gonna bother me. Um, I can't think. Like I know his face. I know his face, but I don't know his name. I don't know anything he's been in. Like, I can't think of anything. Sort of like Lloyd Bridges. Like, not that's not who I'm thinking of, but he kind of looks like Lloyd Bridges. Not the body, obviously. A, a bloodied, bloodied, muscular Lloyd Bridges. No. Um, I don't know. If I, if I can think of it, or if I can find him later somehow, like, I'll put it in the description or something, but I don't know. Yeah, you get a few random elves who are like, Hey... Yeah, I, thanks for the thing. Because you just have, your objectives here are just kind of like, find an elf by the river, find an elf over here, find these two elves. Like, they're they're kind of general, and they're not, not particularly interesting, but I don't know why, because I guess Arend or, um, Arend I'm going to keep calling him Arendelle. I Like, I guess he, like, he didn't say it specifically in the cutscene. Maybe he said, like, oh yeah, there should be a dude over here. But then that's my question, is if he told us, Oh, hey, there should be a guy over here, or some dude went in the cave, I don't know. Like, okay, then go. Like, you know where they are. It's not even like I'm trying to help you find them. You're just like, hey, I need there, I need to help find them, and there's people over there, so could you, could you do that? Thanks. Like, you know, these elves are not prepared at all. 
Barracker's looking a little bit more legit. He's looking a little bit more little cool, I guess, or kind of like his like his uh, um, his armor is a little bit more matching. Like it's not super great, but it's sort of better. Like as they go on, they kind of look more like okay, that's an actual guy. Like he looks he looks cool. He looks like he's a, a real a real dude, not just some random person. So it's a little better. Doing some arrows of sleep. Sleepy arrows. That'd be a pretty powerful arrow if it's like, I'm like, I'm like shooting, I guess it's like a tranquilizer really, but it's like, it doesn't say that that makes them pass out, like they're still standing up, they're just tired all of a sudden. <laughs> you just tip it with some, like, like Benadryl or something. Go the fuck to sleep! <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, that's great. I haven't recorded any, any of these in about a month now, I'm, so I'm a little better. See, I'm, I'm improving, you know? I'm getting there. Time will tell. So it's, uh, it's working out. I had a bit more of a reason to. I just we had I had some people visiting and just different stuff, different crap. I try to record these when nobody else is here because I don't have any like noise in the background. So got to make sure of that. I, I like to think that um, Aaron Arenel is like standing over there and watching us like file in a line and politely attack each other. And he's like, "Dude, how do you do that? Like every time I go in there, like I fight them, it's just a bunch of skirmishes. Like everybody's just fighting left and right, like all the time. Like how are you doing that? Like and how do you get the orcs and everything and the Urukai to do it? Like they're just cool with it. <laughs> it's like, like yeah, sure, I guess, whatever." Showing off the swords. This one's a little tricky because just because of the map, because it's it's very it's like a lot of the other places are just kind of like okay, here's a line, here's a line, like not very hard to see. But this one, there's a lot of little tricky, like little curves, and like sometimes you have to back out to figure out okay, how do I get over to that area? Like I know the thing's blinking over there, but how do I actually get there? This is the most surprising shit. You're just like, hey, sup, bitches? Like, what? <laughs> like, what is that? Like, dude, you, you, you just died. Like, I saw you die. Like, in the movies, it makes a little more sense. Like, they've been, they went out of Moria, and they were out there for, I mean, I don't know. It feels like a month at least, or something. But like, Gandalf just shows up. Like, like it's like, dude, you died like two days ago. And he's just like, hey, I'm here. And he doesn't even help. My here's the thing: the Emnet Gullies, these Emnet Gullies, is all about people not helping out, people wanting you to do all their shit for them. Because like first, Aaron was like, "Hey, attack my, you know, help find my elves and crap, like thanks," and then doesn't do much. And then Gandalf's like, "Hey, I'm back from the dead. Also, here's some dudes. I'm not gonna help out or anything. Like, can you all take care of that? Thanks. I'm so a little jet lagged, you know, from coming back from heaven. You know, it's it's tough. Like, <laughs> I just." I just love that. He's like, hey, I'm more powerful now, and I just popped up, like, I couldn't do that before. Um, here's some orcs. And you're like, well, are they particularly strong orcs? Like, are you not able to handle it? He's like, no, they're regular orcs. Like, they're not even that great. Like, you're probably gonna kill them pretty quick. He's like, well, could you at least, like, do a little bit? Like, like, buff us or something? No. Like, <laughs> this is so great. I just love it. Like, these guys are just getting everything done that nobody else will do. They're the A-team. They're the A-team of Middle-earth. <laughs> That's great. This game is about delegation, if nothing else. Learn some draining shot. If you drain- if you use draining shot too much, then you pass out. <laughs> no. oh. That was terrible. I apologize immediately for that. I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> It just seems weird that he's cheering. It's like, yeah, you died! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna show it off to show what it looks like to drain. And again, um, since I had to replay East Moria, and this is this is was recorded over a year ago now, um, it's gonna be uh, probably some of the things, um, some of the attacks I had before I don't have now, or vice versa. I don't think I had any attacks like in East Moria that I don't have now. Um, I started fast forwarding here. Just because, you know, after I wanted to show some of the Urukai off a bit, you know, at first, just because we hadn't seen them for a bit. Um, and if there's like a different configuration or different, you know, person there, I'm going to show that off. But, you know, they're orcs. We've had orcs. It's fine. You know, we're not nothing new here. 
I'm going to go ahead and, and kill them off. There are four of them, which I don't think we've had four orcs yet. I can't tell. But, yeah, I just figured, like, you know, it's the same drill. Just more of them. That's really all there is there. I do wonder if in the, if the orcs actually themselves name themselves orc number one. It's like thing one and thing two, orc one and orc two. <laughs> Still haven't got a uh, Sony Vega or anything like that, or Vegas or whatever it's called. Uh, just because I still haven't got a uh, Tony Bega. No, um, but I still haven't got it just because, I don't know, I'm still thinking about whether I'm going to get that or not. I might still get, um, I thought about getting a um, some headphones, like wireless headphones and then a splitter um, because that way I could attach it to the TV. Because if you don't know, which I'm sure you don't, the two of you watching this don't know, um, but if you attach the, like if you're playing, if you're recording games and you're putting it on your computer um, and you're listening to it, there's going to be a delay like, while you're recording it. Like, if you're in the middle of recording it. Because the ones I do with Jamie, we always just kind of play as we're doing it. And it's real annoying, because you can't have the TV on, which would be real-time noise. Because if you do that, it's going to come up on the, you know, recording itself, and it's going to be weird, and it's, it's not going to work out. It's going to, like, be a mirror. So you have to just listen to it on the computer, and it's like, you know, you have to have, like, one person have one headphone each, and it's just annoying, and it's like... It'd be way easier to have it be actually matching the action, and it would help because that helps out a lot. Like that really, you don't realize how much that messes you up until you're actually playing a game, and like you hear a hit sound like a, a second after you do it. Like it just really messes you up. A lot of these places you have to kind of like. I'm gonna do a lot of just kind of things where I'm standing still and tilting the camera because I don't want to get an extra fight. You know, want to kind of consolidate it and do it as quick as possible. Uh, get to the, you know, the points you have to fight and that's about it. Um, just to get through it. Because it's long enough. This isn't where I'm like, oh, I have to pad it out by, you know, running around and getting extra fights. Because, you know, why do that? <laughs> but this section's a lot of just kind of running around. And uh, I don't think it's too bad, but I know the first time I played this, like, you know, you're kind of like, at first you're like, okay, so I did that thing. Okay, then I did that thing. And, like, it's hard to remember, okay, this is exactly which one I want to go to now. And so you end up, like, running across the map, and it's like, okay, two minutes later, I'm at this place. <laughs> like, it just feels like this huge amount of time just to run to get over to another, you know, objective point. There's not a whole bunch of, of areas where it's like, oh hey, there's you know, you're gonna get attacked if you keep running, but it's enough. It's enough to make you want to not do that. And I'm trying to find all the chests possible too. They they're pretty good with that. They don't put like a huge amount like in these weird areas where like you're not going you don't have to go there for an objective anyway, so like there's no point except to just get this crappy chest. So that's pretty good. None of these chieftains. Some more crows. You know, crows up the ass, apparently. <laughs> kind of, uh, we're finally building up the bowcraft thing. Finally got some actually useful things there besides just arrow flurry and creature bane. So it's kind of nice now. And draining shot's always good, because you want to get your health up. You know, in the first three sections, and I think this is true with almost any RPG or, or regular game or action game, um, you know, the first few sections, you don't really have to heal a huge amount. Like, obviously, Balrog, you have to, you know, make yourselves auto-revive and crap. But you don't have to heal, like, a huge amount. You don't really use a lot of items. But later on, you do kind of have to sometimes. Um, you know, especially because you get just harder harder enemies or, you know, bosses that are pretty difficult. And so you're going to have to heal a little bit. And obviously that's where it's good to have Idriel, but um, if Idriel has some kind of, like, you know, status effect on her or... Um, there's like one section where you don't have her for a bit, and so it's good to have some kind of either attack that drains powers or slowly gives you, um, or drains health or slowly gives you health back, um, you know, or of course there's items, but there's, there's no problem with getting items. <laughs> there's items all over the place. You do sometimes, like, I never run out of action point items, but there are some times where I'm like, that. it would be nice if I had one that did a bit more. 
like you kind of or where you have like mostly it's the because you have the ones that give a little bit back and some that give a lot back and there's sometimes where I'm like I don't like I want to get it higher not like get them all the way up like topped off but I don't want to be like I don't want to use the waste that one that does a whole bunch on you know just 10 points like I don't want to do that so sometimes you run out of those little ones and it gets annoying but it's still not much of an issue because you can just, you know, fill it as much as you, you know, want to or can do with those big ones. And then, you know, fight a little bit more and then you get up a level and then you're good to go. Careful, my friend. What is that grinding? <laughs> I believe this is the den of a very old, very hungry wolf. I don't know why it's a grinding sound. <laughs> this word just grinding all over the place, apparently. 